What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw Cristiano Ronaldo. For today's lesson, I'll be drawing with a Sharpie fine point marker. I got some plain white paper and some markers to color with. Let's begin in the center of the page and draw two large circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top, come all the way around towards the bottom of the eye and then back up towards the top. Now I wanna leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So I'm gonna start by lining up the top, bring that down towards the same height and then back up. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, I'm gonna bring this in and then back out. And we'll line that up on the right side. Now let's fill the outside of the eyes in black, going around that highlight. Let's move in between the eyes and draw the bottom edge of the nose. Starting on the left, we put it down and then up. Let's move up and add a curve going up and then back down. Now we're gonna shift the mouth up on the right side. So we're gonna start on the bottom left, then it's across, go up a little bit higher on the right, and then add a bracket. Now in the center, we're gonna step down and add a small curve for the lip. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw on the eyebrows. Let's start on the inside, we're gonna bend this up and then out, go to the right, and do the same thing. From the top, then it's out, and then down. Now let's add some thickness. Starting back on the inside, we're gonna curve this up, and then out towards the top, and then out, and then down towards the bottom. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now we're going to move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside left eye, let's step out. I'm going to curve this down, round out the chin, go across, and then up on the right side. Let's bend the edge of the hairline going around the eyebrows. So we go up and then in. Bend this out and then up towards the top. Let's curve the hair coming back in towards the center. We're going to come in. And then bend that down in towards the middle. On the top left side, let's curl the hair going around and then up in towards the top of the head. Now I want to add a point. I'm going to go across and then up and then back down. Let's add another point going up and then in. Curl this out, around and then in on top on the right. Let's go back down and draw the ears. We're gonna start on the left side, send this up, come around, and then in towards the side of the head. And we'll line that up on the right. And we'll add a fold across the top, going up and then out. Go back to the inside, curve this around, and then in. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and just round out the side of the head. We'll start on the left, going out, down and then in on top of the ears. Let's add a little bit of texture along the bottom. Starting from the center, we're gonna bend this up and then out towards the right. Move over and draw that again. Let's add a couple more on the left side, turn this around. And now with the head complete, let's move down to draw in the collar. We start on the left side, bend this down and then up. Let's move out to the side. We're gonna curve the body going out and then down toward the hip. Line this up on the right. Going out and then down toward the same height. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. In the center, let's step down and add a curve going up and then down. Leave a small gap in the center. Go to the left side, bend the leg going out and then down toward the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. Now I want to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, then the foot coming down, and then up. Let's 
go back to the left side, curl the top of the foot, and go up, and it's down. And I want to curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start on the left side, then it's out, and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. Let's take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. And then we're going to move up and draw the bottom edge of the shorts with a curve coming down and up. Line up on the right side. Now we're going to leave a small gap and draw that again for the top edge of the socks. Now we're going to bring the arms coming down along the side. So starting halfway between the chin and the hip, we start up here, then the arm going out and then down towards the wrist, and then line that up on the right side. From the wrist, draw a small half circle for the thumb, and we'll close off the end with a bracket. Now I'm going to curl three fingers around on either side. We're going to start from the bottom of the thumb, come down, and then up around that bracket. Go out to the side, add the second finger, and then the third finger, we're going to blend into the arm, going up and then in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting underneath the thumb, bring this around, add the second finger, and then the third finger, we bend this up and then in. Now along the top of the arm on the inside, we're going to add the sleeve. We're going to bend this up and then out on both sides. Let's add that armband on the right. So we're going to step down and draw that same curve. Now I'm going to add some detail to the jersey. Let's start on the top left with the Nike symbol. Start by coming down and then bend that up. Go back up to the top, curve this down and then up. Let's add a small circle on the right side. Let's add those letters across the body, starting on the left side with the K. Go up and then down with the A. Add the F. And then the D. Let's add one more Nike symbol on the bottom right side of the shorts, going up toward the top. Let's sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Cristiano Ronaldo. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want more details on the art supplies I've used, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.